Okay, so I'm gonna do this in the calculator first, and then I'll work it out on some paper to show you if you still don't understand. All right, so we go six minus, not to be confused with the negative symbol. This is a the, uh, negative symbol, and this one is the operator minus one times zero plus two divided by, or over, depending on how you like it, divided by two. Push enter, and our answer is seven. Here, let's zoom in on that. Now we're a bit more zoomed in there. Should be easier to see. All right, so as you can see, the answer is seven. Now, for the simple, to simplify this, we can just change this, because we know two divided by two is one. And uh, one times zero is zero. All right, so now, and, and this seems to be where the problem comes in. 6 minus 0 plus 1 equals 7, of course. Um, and where people seem to be getting tripped up on this is they think that this uh, plus sign here, well, here, let's just move to paper. It'll be easier to show you on paper. All right, so when you take this and we go 6 minus 0 plus one. Um, in theory, you do the plus, the addition, and then the subtraction. Um, really, you can do it all at the same time, especially in this case, but let's just do it in that order. Um, so this is equal to six minus, um, minus one. But see, when you take this and you add the one to this negative zero here, it becomes positive one. And then, of course, that equals seven. Now the same is true, like, so if we take a six minus two plus four, right? Now as we do this, we can say this is equal to, and this turns this into a positive two. Because a lot of times it's just easier to think that you're adding negative numbers. Like this is adding a negative two. So if you were to do that to the side and you were to sit there and do this first, this negative two plus four is equal to two. And then of course two plus six is equal to eight. And uh, in case you don't believe me, uh, we can bust out the old TI-89 here, and um, we can take this and we can make this say minus 2 plus 4 is equal to 8. And uh, there we go. Put some light on that. Um, you can see that? It's hard to tell. I got set up to draw on paper. Um, so, I mean, like, when you get to this level, right, like... You do your, you, you can do your multiplication and your division on the same level. And you also do your addition and your subtraction on the same level. So once you get to that point, right, after you have done your parentheses and your exponents, these happen at the same time. And then these happen at the same time. Um, and if that's confusing, just remember you're not really subtracting things. You're, you're, at, you're incorporating negative numbers into your total sum. I hope that helped. Um, yeah, so for the record, six minus one times zero plus two over two is equal to six minus zero plus one, which is equal to six plus one, which equals seven. Anyway, um, put that back up there. Sorry, ran off the screen. All right, anyway, that's how you do it. Cheers, have a great day. Okay, one last thing I forgot to mention. So let's say 
because I think this might help a little bit too. Let's say 6 minus, uh, let's, let's say minus 4 plus 2, right? When you do this, this, because this number, this negative number, is now larger than this positive number, this will stay a negative, right? So in this case, it's going to be 6 minus 2, right? Because I don't, I don't think that we're, when I do this, that we're, that this, this is now a multiplication, right? Like, I'm just putting some parentheses here to indicate that I, uh, what, what, that we want to do this part first. So, of course, negative 4 plus 2 is still negative 2, right? And then, of course, so this would stay negative, so then that is now 4. Oh, there we go. I think that's easier to see. So, um, yeah, as you can see, it's, uh, oops, glare. 6 minus 4 plus 2, right, right, right there, right. it's equal to 4. And then, of course, from the earlier, uh, it's easier to see, 6 minus 2 plus 4, right, is equal to 8. And, um, yeah, there you go. I uh, want to throw that in there real quick.